Hey, what's up guys? Gons here for the Face Like the Sun YouTube channel. So CERN is in the news today. Bloomberg Technology says CERN resumes hunt for dark matter after Martin chews power cable. And it's about the weasel or beavers or something that went through and shut down CERN and delayed its experiments. In the article here, it says scientists at CERN resumed their search for dark matter and extra dimensions after a small weasel-like mammal nibbled through a power cable last month, causing a short circuit at the world's largest particle accelerator. Again, highlighting the point that they're after dark matter in extra dimensions. Not shy about it. In the International Business Times, headline CERN LHC update Large Hadron Collider begins 2016 run as scientists train sites on physics beyond the standard model. And it quotes CERN's director for research and computing, Eckhart Elson, who said, quote, In 2015, we opened the doors to a completely new landscape with unprecedented energy. Now we can begin to explore this landscape in depth. Very interesting language here being used to talk about what they're doing at CERN. The Guardian reported, and we're off, CERN declares start of 2016 LHC physics season. It talks about how they're planning to collect six times more data than they did in 2015. The press release at CERN's own website says the 2016 physics season starts with the LHC, and it shares much of the same comments that were published in all these different articles. But it also says here, quote, the huge amounts of data from the 2016 LHC run will enable physicists to challenge these and many other questions to probe the standard model further and to possibly find clues about the physics that lies beyond it. Again, interesting language here. Physics beyond our standard model of physics. You know, we're talking about extra dimensions. We're talking about String theory, if you want to take it from the scientific realm, or multidimensional theory. And really, again, they're breaking down physical reality and going beyond it, looking for what I believe to be the spiritual dimensions. And we'll have Anthony Patch back on here pretty soon because he and I are involved in a writing project along with Josh Peck and Doug Woodward. We're all co-authors in a book that we're putting together rather quickly here called Revising Reality, and uh, we're working on the subtitle. Each of us has a couple chapters in the book, and the book will be released within the next couple months, so more announcements to come in that front. But I wanted to report on this story because again, CERN is firing back up for this year, obviously after May 1st, convenient. And also because again, the language they use is interesting because again, it starts to tap into things that may in the past have been labeled science fiction or whatever and you know a lot of people will come to this channel and watch things like stern watch videos and stuff and they'll say oh it's all crazy hogwash well you know again i'm just a messenger here and what i'm citing here is the people who are publishing these articles stern itself using language that seems to suggest that they are looking for those extra dimensions and for what purpose again i've brought this up before and i'll bring it up again ultimately you know why are we pouring billions of dollars into this what's the purpose we still have one out of eight people on the earth starving for food and clean water yet you know we're trying to rip a hole in space time so again motive here hubris it all comes into play and ultimately i think it has biblically prophetic implications let me know your thoughts on this share links and stories related to this hope you have an awesome day god bless